So I'm here scoffing a few planks at the shear of this 38 foot friendship sloop and in order to do it we have to spring the planks out and in order to do that we have to remove some of the cotton and in order to do that we have to remove some of the seam compound and uh, the first thing I do is take a putty knife hold it up near the seam compound in a hammer and just smash the seam compound a little bit like that because that makes it a lot easier for me to get a hook and get that seam compound out of there. Now it's not very hard to do, pretty simple. Now I'm going to take a reefing hook and I'm not going to make any attempt to pull the cotton out. I'm only going to try to pull some of the seam compound out over top of the cotton. It would be awfully hard to get the cotton itself out. It would just get tighter as you tried to pull it out. It just wouldn't work. So now you see I've got most of that seam compound out of there at this point and now I can hook onto the cotton and start trying to pull the cotton out. When I'm doing this I don't like to pull along the seam because there again you could get the hook into the plank and mess up the plank. So I'm going to get behind the cotton and pull out not along the seam. Really not that difficult but you have to have a very good procedure in order to get it done. If I tried to pull that cotton without the seam compound first, I'd never get away with it. Just like that. All right, the main thing that we're trying to accomplish here is to replace this plank, but we don't want to butt it on to the other plank behind it here with the butt block that was in there before because the butt block was getting a little weak. And we've taken that plank out I've annihilated that butt block by just splitting it up in pieces and now we're going to spring this plank out, cut it off and cut a scarf in it right here with an electric plane. So I think it'll spring right out. Let's take a look and see. Look at that. I'm going to hold it out with this piece of ferrin behind it. Like that. We're going to cut it right off at this pencil line. That's even with the forward edge of one of these frames inside here. I'm going to pick up a skill saw here and I'm going to use it kind of upside down here. So now that I've scoffed it with that electric plane, I just want to see if there's any imperfections in the shape of it across. So I'm going to take a little block plane and just go over it a little bit with a block plane. Like that. And it does have like a little hump in the middle of it there, see? So that pretty much takes care of that. Now the only thing I don't like about that is, is that it's a little shiny. So rather than glue it and have it be that shiny, I'm going to take a scraper scrape a little texture into it like that that raises the grain a little bit allows the glue to really get something to grab a hold of so I scoffed it with the electric plane and I planed it a little tiny bit with a block plane and now I'm just raising the grain again with a scraper like that and that's it So I'm on the starboard side up forward here, just about at the chain plate area. This is the plank we're going to put in, the shear plank. And like I just did back aft and showed you, I'm just going to use a scraper to scuff up the surface of this plank a little bit. It's nice and flat, but I want to raise the grain a little bit before I spread glue on it. So we're spreading glue to the bottom side of the deck and to the top side of the shear plank. And I've spread it around with a little tooth trowel just to get the same amount of glue in every area. That way I don't have a pile of it over here and a very small amount of it over here. I'm doing the same thing on the scarfs. I just pumped it right out of the gun and then I just take that tooth trowel and spread it around with the tooth trowel and that just meters it all over the place so we know exactly how much glue we've got and on both surfaces. Now we're going to put the plank in position. I've got some pre-drilled holes there that uh, we line up with and get a couple of screws involved with those holes and then apply a few clamps and once we get it clamped down in position and clamped up against the overhead, watch the glue come out the top. 
Then we'll just finish putting the rest of the screws in and it should be good right there. The reason why I've scoffed this rather than use a butt block is that's a tremendous amount of glue area in there. And believe me, it is 100% glued up and stuck there permanently. And it just doesn't allow any space for any water to get in there. It's considerably stronger. It's got a lot more continuity to it. And it's just, I believe, to be a very, very permanent fix.